Hello, welcome to uh, Barnsley's Retro Plan. Um, not done a video in ages, uh, don't usually do um, these type of uh, videos. As you know, it's mainly a gaming channel, this, and a few other bits. Uh, today, it's a like a football uh, vlog uh, rant, if I'm honest, about me. Uh, beloved football club Barnsley um, yesterday there were rumours that um, Daniel Stendhal was um, either going to leave club on his own accord get sacked or whatever uh, it were just rumours and as it's been just literally just been announced uh, officially by club I just thought I'd do this uh, video uh, on my channel because um, whoever comes across it I just want to put my point uh, across uh, like I said I don't usually do these there's other better bigger channels for this anyway like such as well Tykes TV which I've been on before um, they're the channel to watch for these type of videos but I just need to um, rant and put it online anyway so that's why I'm do just doing this one um, so yeah at Barnsley Football Club um, well personally I think it's just been same old um, transfer policy before run up to the season we get rid of his best players for well for in football terms, nothing really. Um, we replace them with unknown, unproven, uh, young players, um, gambling that they're going to be the next uh, big thing so they can sell. And it just doesn't work. It's just not working, especially with the club not signing any players just because they're over 25 that's basically because they think after that they can't sell players or there's very 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 little um, sell on value and that's why they were way to do it we need experienced players and apparently that's what Stendhal's been asking for he's not got it um, I don't think most of these players he wanted anyway or he didn't even know he was going to get and apart from mm -hmm. goalkeeper, that Ranlinger, uh, from Germany, it's 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 just been shambolic, really. Um, I personally think Stendhal has been one of the best managers we've had um, since Danny Wilson days, since we went up to Premier League. They've got rid of. A manager who I've said um, a long time to my daughter Madison I personally think he was good enough um, to go on to Premier League uh, to a Premier League club uh, I'm not talking about like you know like a top six one um, but I think he could have been good enough for Premier League um, his, his style and everything, you know, yeah, were brilliant. And how he got us up last season at uh, League One, uh, his first attempt was well, nothing short of uh, amazing, really. Um, again, even last season, I said we should have had experienced players just to get them through. Uh, luckily, um, we literally crawled over the line to get up automatic. But the club... Uh, personally, I think it's made a really, really, really bad mistake in getting rid of Stendhal. Should have kept him. To me, the, the main players who's there, um, top players like, uh, well, to me, there's only two top players at the moment. That's um, Alex Mowit and Woodrow, Coley Woodrow. But even before them, this top asset was manager. Um, Daniel Stendhal and they've just let him go just because they're way back in um, the people who owns the club 
at Barnsley at Billionaires, um, which I don't know if anybody who does watch this, whether the you know football fans or whatever, and you don't realise that, but yeah, Barnsley's owned by multi billionaires and they're just refusing to back player uh, sorry back the manager by getting experienced players we're not expecting them um to bankrupt them sends and i don't know bid for avi kane or maguire from manual <laughs> we're not expecting that but just get some players in so we know we can have a fighting chance of staying up and you need experience and if manager asks and wants that and not only that everybody can see it why not support him? It's not like we're a club that's struggling. If we can't pay for players, nah, we're never going to be able to. It's, But this has been my um, theory on it for quite a few seasons. There's no need for us to go down this route. Um, we're always at Barnsley... Um, just like handicapping a sense, making it hard when there's no need to. Uh, like I say, I'm not expecting us to splash out and, um, you know, make it as aim to win title uh, straight away. I'm not, I, I don't think any Barnsley fan uh, wanted that. But just like gradually build. I mean, we're second from bottom at the moment. It's only October. Um, I personally think, and I excited it because I've never said this um, in season, but I personally think we're going to go down this season. You know, it's only October. Um, they're just playing young lads who's just not experienced and at the moment just not good enough. And it, it's so, so frustrating. I mean, yeah, you see these uh, clubs who spend millions uh, trying to you know, by the way, up leagues. And sometimes it works, but it is a big, big gamble. I get that. But it's not going to break their bank to get a few experienced heads around these young players, which we need. I personally think we need four or five, but it's not going to happen. Um, I personally think, and I hope to God I'm wrong, because, I'm again, I'm never said this but it you just can't defend it. I personally think we'll be first team to get relegated uh, this season. Honestly do. I just can't see where next win or uh, point is gonna come from. It's it's shocking. Uh we signed loads of players uh in summer. Uh, we're about twelve, thirteen players, something like that. And all unproven. We sell as best players who got us up last season and we've not really replaced them. Um, I mean, we've up front strikers. I think we've got to recognise strikers at the moment at club. Uh, Corley Woodrow, um, a German lad. Uh, no, not a German lad. I think he's Aust Austrian, I think. Uh, Schmidt. But he's not even been getting inside. Uh, not even on bench. Um, so it's it's just so frustrating. Um, I can see fans um, turning against these who's on it club. There's a few that say, oh yeah, but who's going to buy Barnsley, this, that and other. But <laughs> what are these doing really? You, you know, we're going to end up back down in League One and, you know, um, we're not going to be guaranteed to come straight back up and we shouldn't be a team like that now. Like I said, we should be uh, building towards to be a stable championship club and we're nowhere near it, absolutely nowhere near it. Uh, they put somebody in charge called uh, Murray, Adam Murray, I think he is called. I ain't got a clue who he is. Apparently he's under 18's coach. So that's a strange one as well. Um, just to put him as caretaker manager. Why on earth the 
just picked him. Um, personally, I think he's probably just for fella who's walked past office saying, Oi, mate, you want a job? You've got it. Um, I ain't got a clue why they've picked him. Um, for caretaker manager, um, Barnsley fans will know him, uh, Martin Devaney. Why not just stick him in charge till we get a proper manager? And all due respect to Devaney, it shouldn't be somebody like that who's going to uh, take over full time. We need to make a statement now. If they show any any passion and if they think anything about this club, they should make a statement now about who they're going to get. Um, like I said, I'm not expecting them to get like you know a top top manager, but somebody who's been about a bit, somebody who's been in this position, they've got money. They need to get something done. Um, it's just absolutely well shambolic uh, like I said I, I've just had to put this on my uh, channel because like I said I don't normally do these videos because like I said there's far better uh, channels out there like I said Tykes TV uh, to me is the main one uh, big brilliant professional channel but I just had to do it on my own channel uh, just to vent and whoever sees this video um Please comment. Um, please let me know what you think if you're a Barnsley fan or even just a football fan in general. Um, but yeah, if you if you want um, to see uh, a better channel um, a, about everything Barnsley related, like I say, um, search for Tykes TV on uh, YouTube. Uh, they're the ones to go for. Uh, but like I say, I just had to put this out on mine because... Um, it's, like I say, uh, October, uh, we've got rid of his manager. We can't seem to do a full season without him. Uh, we said manager. We did it last season when we went up. Um, that's it. That's as much as we can do. And it's just frustrating there. So, I ain't got a clue what's happening at the club. And I don't think Bond knows, if I'm honest. Uh, I think they're just using it to play real life football manager rather than playing it on the computer. Um we'll you know, we'll see I might do one at one of these end up season. Um you know, see where we are. Personally, um, I don't think we'll move much further where we are at league. Um we'll probably drop down a place to rock bottom. Um and I ain't saying that because I'm a Barnsley fan through and through. And I'm, I think it's the first time I've ever said that. I'm just expecting us going down. And it, it's that bad at the moment at Barnsley. Um, like I say, you, you get these owners, billionaire owners from America, uh, from China. And they're just not supporting manager. They're just not supporting manager at all and the end that's why he's gone an official statement that they put out is just really disrespectful to manager what he's done if it weren't for him we won't be at championship now um so i don't know but like i say uh whoever watches this thank you anyway um uh, tell me what you think and uh, like i said please search for uh tykes tv because you know, they're the guys to watch. Um, so, thank you. And hopefully I'll be doing some more retro gaming uh, videos um, shortly. Uh, in, the, in fact, I might, do, I might do one tomorrow because I'm off tomorrow. So, whoever watches this, if anybody watches it, because, uh, you know, it's not a big channel this, but if you do, I'll probably put a retro gaming channel, uh, gaming video uh, up tomorrow. Because uh, I'm not working tomorrow. So thank you and up the reds. <laughs> See you later. Bye bye.